Megan's not on yet. Yep, there she is. And we already know it's going to take twice to share it. Ding dong, Megan's here. Okay, so yesterday, did everybody get the transformation models done with words? We didn't do that in this class? No. Okay. Did everybody get all six stations drawn? and all of the transfers and transformations described with words okay i need everybody to make sure they get their transformation models described with words that's going to be the part where you get the majority of your points because that you have to do on your own Okay. By the way, this lab, the write up is worth 27 points. It's a lot of points, isn't it? Especially for science. If I'm not mistaken, this lab is worth more points than any other lab you've had because there's a lot to this lab. Okay. So I need you to um write your transformation models and i gave you class time yesterday i'm giving you six minutes now because i know we were a bit rushed yesterday so i'm giving you six minutes i'm setting my timer to get your transformation models done you're going to choose either 1a or 1b and you're going to write your transformation model of either one of these and you're going to tell me about the transfers of energy and the transformations of energy in whichever one you choose with words, okay? And then you're going to turn your page and you're going to do the same thing with 2A and 2B and 3A and 3B, okay?
I've got a few more seconds, okay? So we should have all of our transformation models done. We're not, we're not finished. Okay. By show of hands, five, three, two. Okay. I'm going to give you three more minutes. Okay. What did we 
observe when energy transforms? What were some things we observed when energy transforms? Think about the stations. We had six different stations, right? What were some things we observed when energy transforms? Bryson. What? Radiometer. What about the radiometer? Like, if you shine light on it, it moves. Okay, so we observed what? It moves. Okay, so we observed the fact that we put light on something and it transformed to make it move, right? So we saw transformation, but how do we know that it transformed? Do we see an energy indicator? Is, is movement an energy indicator? Is it? Okay, let's back up a step. What are our energy indicators? Movement, not air. I mean, not air, sound. Sound? In terms of change of temperature, right? What else? Energy. No. Sound. What else? Light. Okay. So, yes, movement. So, we saw movement with the radiometer, right? We started with light and it changed to movement, right? So we saw an energy indicator. And the solar, right? cell took the solar, cell. solar cell took in what? Heat. No. Energy. In the form of? Heat. No. Light. Light. So the solar cell took in light and it changed it to so what? Movement. movement. And then what? It made the So with the solar cell, light was applied on it, which is an energy indicator, right? And it changed the movement. Was there any other energy and sound? Because we heard a little bit of sound from the windmill, right? What other energy indicator was in that system? Light in form of what? We've already said that. What other light was there in that system? The little skateboard thing, that little LED light, right? Yeah. Okay. So again, we had energy indicators, but it transformed them, right? Transformed the energy. Yes? Okay. What about the balloon? Oh. It didn't transfer sound. Transfer to movement. Not transferred to movement. Come on, let's get our words correct. It made sense. What happened? What was our first energy source? First energy form? Air. What were you saying? So the air blowing out of the balloon was what form of? The air blowing out of the balloon was what form of energy? Sound energy. Not sound energy. 
Air is not energy. What? Wind, which is? No, wind, which is? I wish I wasn't allergic so I could show you guys. Look at your picture. What does it say about? You wrote all the words down. The air is doing what? What is the air doing? Vibration, which is? Movement. So the first energy form is motion. Okay, and then it transforms to sound. So with the balloon, the transformation is from movement to sound, right? What about the sound cup? Oh, it transfers to transforms form. originally from the plug to so it's electrical energy to the computer, then from the computer to the speaker. So those are trans, that's a transfer to the speaker, right? And then the speaker transforms to light and sound. So the sound transforms to motion okay what about the ice milk oh I said I, uh, uh, kimber's very quiet what about the ice milk okay hold on what's the first transformation of energy uh, no, back it up. The heat lamp's plugged in. So what's our first transformation? Loving my husband that boots in my car. <sighs> heat lamp's plugged in. So what kind of energy is coming into the heat lamp and transforming to what? Electricity is transforming to what in a heat lamp? Heat and light. Light. Heat light. Okay. And then the heat light does what to the ice cubes? Melt it. Melt it. Okay. Y'all would just love it with Ben in my class. Because yesterday he kept shouting like he was eating the microphone. <laughs> ben comes through loud and clear. Okay. So with the ice melt, you have electrical energy transforming to light and heat. And then you have the lamp transforming to melt the ice. Got it? Okay. With the air temperature station, describe the transformations, Michaela. Mm -hmm. Transforming. Transforming into heat and light. Perfect. Which is which the heat is warming up the, the first cup. So it's don't it don't say warming up, but transforming. Transforming the air in the cup to be eighty-two degrees. Yes. So it's transforming to make the temperature increase in that air in that cup, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. And then, the next and then the next cup just stays the air temp. And what was interesting was our temperatures were different all day because the air in the room kept going up. Okay. So. I kept leaving it so the heat lamp was on that one cup for maybe 10 minutes. And it kept getting warmer in the room. And was the difference in the two temps about 20 degrees? 
yesterday morning? No, 72 to 80. So it wasn't that much of a difference? Oh, 82. So 17 degrees? 16. 16 degrees. So second block and third block, it was a 20 degree difference. So it was a little bit more of a difference. But by third block, it was 70 degrees in here, the ambient air temperature. And the cup with the heat lamp on it was 90. It gets warm in my room in the afternoons. But at least it wasn't 102 like I had a few years ago. When it was 102 in here, I had a student pass up. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I don't complain about being cold in the morning. I'll take the cold. Okay, so we've already gone through the launch part of lesson 11. We've already finished the first part of the learn part of lesson 11. We already did a little bit of the construct explanations about energy transformations. That part of learn part of lesson 11. Now we need to discuss what energy indicators helped us observe energy transformations. I know it feels like we're repeating things, but the more you understand- Is your screen frozen? It's not. I just have it on a white screen because I don't want my students to see my answers that I've already written. Um, yeah, okay. I know. I, normally guys, I fill out answers with you but I had to fill out answers to give them to Mr. Williams because he wanted to see what everything looked like if it was finished. So I'm going to leave it on a white page so you don't see all my answers. Okay. What energy indicators helped you observe energy transform? Kaylee. Electricity. Electricity helped kick the whole thing off, right? So electricity we knew electricity is going through when we saw what? Something else first. How many other people the stuff was on? How do we know when electricity's on, Kaylee? You're gonna let me keep looking up, aren't you? How do we know the electricity's on, Miss Wilson? The light was on. You were giving her so much hint. Yeah, I don't know how long it's gonna be before I can see things again. I've been looking at the light so long. How else did we know the electricity was on, considering what we were working on with? Did y'all work with the heat lamp? No, no. no, but you've worked with it before, yes? No? One of my groups that worked with the heat lamp. Okay, how else did you know the electricity was on? It made it melt. It what? The heat. You knew better than, than to touch the bulb or you're going to lose your fingerprints, right? And it made it's hot. That's, and it was what, hot. That, that, that's what we just said. The heat and the heat. The heat. The heat. Okay. So, heat and light tell you the electricity's on, right? How do we know it's getting electricity? No, the, light. the light. And sound. I could turn up the speaker oh, dial. And everybody in here, if I play the balloon video, will know there's electricity getting to it. Right? Think about the radiometer. How do we know? Energy was transforming with the radiometer. Joanna. It moved when the light hit the fins, right? Movement. Fins moved. Okay. 
with the ice melt. Michaela's talking again, so she'll give us this answer. With the ice melt, how do we know energy was transforming? Yes, we saw water in there. It melted, right? Mm -hmm. So we knew there was energy to transformation. Um, with the sound cup, how do we know there was energy transformation? Hunter, stop drawing and erasing on the chair. Considering you borrow teacher's pencils every single day, then you're going to waste them on a chair. How do we know with the sound cup there was an energy transformation? When the rice moved around, there's energy transforming, right? I made a video during second block of the rice moving. Mm -hmm. And of course, Elmo's being weird, so you can barely see it. I can see like little specks of rice. I don't see it. See it dancing and moving around? See it moving? Yeah. Some reason the rice kept trying to get in lines. That's what happened to Ernie. Um, I think that's Trip holding it. Rice. But you see how they kept going in lines, the rice bits. He did. Okay. Um, how do we know energy was transforming with the balloon? Uh, Maya. We've talked about all of them. We're going to keep on going back to these so we analyze this fully and pull every bit of information we can from it. That's the thing with this curriculum. We don't just do experiments and go on. We analyze the experiments and get all the information from them that we can. Maya, how do we know with the balloon the energy was transforming? Mr. Mita's and I keep on picking on you because we want you to learn. Come on. How do we know the balloon was having a transformation of energy? The sound. Because it wasn't like when she blew in the balloon, she was making that sound, was she? No. The air was colliding with the edges of the balloon. So there was motion right there. Vibration and movement. The air was colliding. So there was motion right there at the neck of the balloon. And that motion transformed into that calming sound. And sometimes if you take your okay. hands off of the balloon while it's still in there, it can slide. Mm, yeah. Okay, so what patterns, don't shout out, I'm gonna call on somebody. What patterns did you notice in the energy transformations? Allie. What patterns did you notice? There were patterns. All six things had something in common. Do you know who got this right yesterday? Amaya Anderson blew me away. She kept on getting these answers right, these hard questions. And I was like, who is this child? I've never met her before. That was not who I expected. And I told her she's leaving my class today. I said, whoever that was yesterday, she needs to come to class regularly. Because that was her first time to ever show up to a class. Y'all know what I mean, right? Yeah. 
I ask the hard questions, don't I? No, yes, it is. Right. What patterns did you notice? All those experiments had things in common. All of them had something in common. Let me go back a step. Look at your book. Look at page 29. 1A and 1B. They both had something in common. Besides the bell I want to kill many times over. They both had light. They, they were both spinning when they, both they showed energy. Lights and motion, right? Yeah, and energy. You input lights and it created motion, right? So light transformed emotion. Can we all agree on that? Uh -huh. In 1A and 1B. Look at 2A and 2B. What did 2A and 2B have in common? Made a sound. Okay, so was it that we created a sound and that transformed emotion for both of them yeah no no look at it look did both of them start with sound and transformed emotion did both of them start with motion and transform to sound both of them started off as no movement no the first one started off as movement when she blew it up it got bigger than it got no, I'm not wanting a big, up, big explanation. I just want to know, did they both start off with motion and transform to sound, or did they both start off with sound and transform to motion? Motion and sound. Motion and sound. Okay, so look at the balloon. The balloon started off with motion and transformed to sound. The sound cup. Did it start with motion and transform to sound? No. no, it started with sound and transformed into motion. So they both involve sound and motion, but they're reverse of each other, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. they're backwards. That's what I was trying to get you guys to see. Kayuna, are you okay? Okay. All right, so let's look at 3A and 3B. So they both involve light transforming to heat. That's not what I'm wanting. You're missing the point because you're being loud, wanting to shout an answer, but you're missing the an the correct answer. It's both heat or light transforming to heat, making the air around it heat up. Okay, but what I'm wanting you to say is light transforming to heat. Okay. All that said. Now, what do all six experiments have in common? What pattern do you notice, Allie, in all six experiments? Wait, so these are the one pattern? There's two different big pictures here, two different things that are big patterns. There was motion and light. There was motion and light. Yes. I'm looking for a bigger picture here. Does anybody else see a big picture, a big pattern? Joanna. Not all of them had to do with electricity. Did the balloon have anything to do with electricity? No. no. Kaylee. No. The balloon didn't have anything to do with heat. It did have something to do with sound. The ice melt didn't have anything to do with sound. Maybe their temperature. Yes, sir. They all had the sound. They all, they all had because they all have to do with energy. No, they don't all have to do with motion. Ice melt, air temperature do not have to do with motion. Skyuna, do you have any ideas? 
Anybody else see a big picture here? What do all these things have in common? No, it's not. Look at the title of it, Aaliyah. What? They have what? They transform. Is that what you said? Yes. All of these have energy transforming. Every single one of these have to do with energy transforming. The other pattern, it doesn't matter which energy indicator we start off with because we're going to end up with a different one. Every single one of them, we start off with one energy indicator we end up with a different one, correct? Every single one. So it didn't matter which one we started off with, we're gonna end up with something different. Yes, Michaela? Um, the balloon didn't use light and the sound cup had light, but the light was irrelevant to moving the rice. They had light. The lights look pretty. I like the lights just because it looks pretty. <laughs> That's why I got it with lights on it. Okay. Um, the book wants us to trace the flow of energy in each station. I say for sake of time, we skip that little part. If we have time at the end of class, we might go back and do that. Um, how did the radiometer fins get energy to move? The light, light, light transformed to motion. Perfect. Why didn't the fins move when there was no light? Because they had no energy. Had no energy. How did the rice get energy to move? Sound, sound, sound energy to changed to motion, right? And only the rice around them. Transformed sound. Got one person that's either not feeling good or sleepy, so I got to get some energy going here. You already know what kind of energy I'm going to have going, don't you? Oh, yeah. Me, sleep. Oh, what's the football? Me, sleep. Now you're first because she's going to sleep or not feeling good. Hands up. Okay. Sit down. If your body's out of the chair, you don't get to play. Okay. All right. Kimber, Kimber, raise me. What kind of energy are we using when we're throwing? Movement. What is the energy of movement called? Energy. No. What's the motion. energy of movement? Motion. 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 But what's the, the scientific name for energy of movement? That's not the right word. No, 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 Kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. All right, I'm going to say that. I'll say it again. Good catch. Hunter. Maya. Me. All right, when it's up high, what kind of energy does it have? Something. Kinetic energy. It has it, this kind of energy because of gravity. What kind of energy is it? It has the potential to hold it up high. Hold it, up high. it has the potential to fall, so it has what? Risk of a glide. <laughs> Nothing is very nice. What kind of energy does it have? Come on. Uh, it has potential to fall, so it has gravity. No, no, no. Floating. you. Yeah, I am. It's got potential energy, just like a roller coaster is about to drop. Potential energy. Gravity. Uh, Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Michaela. Ricardo, <laughs> 
energy to melt from the heat lamp from the heat lamp the heat lamp's energy transform to melt the ice right yeah okay all right so now the book wants me to explain energy transfer energy i'm sorry light transfers energy to the solar cell light transferred energy to the radiometer Sound because it just wanted to. Sound transfers energy through the air to a student's ear and to the sound cup. Mm -hmm. All right, well, my ear. Y'all are telling me you can't handle having a little fun in the classroom. Is that the message you want? No. Okay. No. Then let's be quiet and focus. In sections 3A and 3B, as the lamp warms the air, energy transferred is heat from the air to the thermometer and ice, causing the temperature to increase. Okay. And remember, like I told you guys before, when you put your face to the desk, Energy transfers from something warmer to something cooler, never the other way around. So the energy is actually leaving your face and going to the desk. Okay. Sound travels fastest and loudest through solids. Okay. Now it's time to add to that. Last class. Yes, yes. Still looking at book. Stop. All right, energy transformations, because that's all we've been talking about this week, right? Other than social studies. energy indicator do what guys what do those energy indicators do um, transfer no transfer. change to a different one right 
Yes, when light changes into heat. Change into any transformation. No, into any other, other energy? energy indicator. I told you they were going to have me write a whole book underneath that picture. That's why the picture so small. And now I get to add more words. Okay. What do you think the words for the picture they want me to add to? What do you think it'll be about? Energy what? What have we been talking about all week? Transformation. And I'm going to do it the same color for the green. Uh, okay. The windmill transforms energy. I can't even hardly see the picture anymore. It's really blurred. Windmill transforms energy. From motion Buzz Yes, let's all try that Buzz Into electrical energy What would give you a clue is changing it into electrical energy? Or the fact that we're using all those wires, right? Why would we use wires if there wasn't electricity involved? Something. And then into. So the first thing it transfers it into is motion, then electrical energy, and then what does it change it into? All right, page 32. Nikki. Got 
guys, I need you quiet. Enough play. Numbers one and two on that page, we already answered verbally as a class, didn't we? You need to answer those. Then number three is going to tell me how much you paid attention to what I just wrote on that poster that is so crowded with words. And it's also going to tell me how much you learned out of this entire lab. So you need to answer those three questions. And that third one is pretty much your summative question and answer. It tells me what you learn and it's worth more points than all the rest. I can't see the post. I'm gonna take a picture and I'll uh, message it to you and I'll put it on Dojo too, okay? Okay. You should be listening when I was talking. Okay, Megan, I just posted it on Class Dojo, and I'm about to private message it also. Do you want it to go to your dad or to your mom? Megan, I just sent it to your dad, okay? On okay. And I'll also have it on the class story for Class Dojo too.
Bless you. Bless you. Okay. All right. You guys may grab any book you want to read if you've already finished my RTI pack. Okay. If you finished your RTI and you're caught up on your extra math and Zern. What do you mean? How does our new knowledge of energy transformation help explain how the windmill turns to the light? Well, I kind of threw it up there on the poster. You look there and look at it if you need to. You could also take what we've been learning about and apply it towards the window. Bless you, by the way. It's moving. How many points is that? This is 27 point turtle. Oh, no, the whole thing is 27. To Megan, send me all all um, pages twenty nine through thirty two today, okay? Okay, I need the noises to stop. When you finish this, guys, make sure you have your math RTI pack finished. You have your social studies RTI pack finished. You have your English RTI pack finished. You're caught up on Zern. You're caught up on extra math. You have all that done. Then you can choose one of my uh, social studies or science books in here. I've got lots of them. I have a lot of new ones that I put in here this week. Guys, when you're answering that last question about New knowledge of energy transformations explained in the windmill. You need to have the word transformation in your answer.
slogan. What's that? I thought I would get the that Oh, you guys are hard. This is a hard concept, guys. This is more than what most adults would understand. PhD science really makes you guys understand concepts at a very deep level. Uh -huh, barely. I have how to do the if you don't use the word transform in your transformation model, count off four. Ricardo, by the way, um, your science labs, I give you guys points, not every time, but when we do labs, a lot of the times I give you points. So Wednesday and Thursday, you say you guys got five points for doing the lab. There's only one fourth grader who did not get the full five points for doing the lab. So that's my second block because we had a very negative attitude and I had someone slip and fall two days in a row in my class and that other child thought it was funny and laughed at him and when I corrected him he decided to yell at me he's lucky I didn't write him up and kick him out of my class so he actually got an F for one day everybody else got five out of five both days in the science lab um, that's also to help kind of rescue your grade because I anticipated that not everybody's going to make a perfect day on this lab because I'm grading the city class, okay? Well, it? Don't worry about it. But it's not okay to yell at a teacher and it's not okay to, to laugh at somebody at the call. Mm -hmm.
um, with the email that last question last week, it did not help. It didn't matter. So only the one that we did for one A had a total battery. And then that last question helped the one that we did. We weren't here for that problem. How to do Guys, no talking, please. It is Vanderbilt. Yes, ma'am. I'm ready for your pumpkin bud. Keep the little girl crazy in the hallway. Thank you. 
Guys, Hutch is it an emergency? The brand of the hall. If you have an issue, you're going to appreciate the time if you can put that for an emergency call. If it's not an emergency, I need you to send it to the cell phone. Go through and throw away your crap. Like now. It will help you be organized. Nose and my eyes, next thing I'm doing is sanitizing my hands every time. 
keep y'all safe and you keep me safe. Okay? That's one. I want to keep all you guys safe. All right? And y'all know I don't have a good immune system. And yet I'll stay healthy. I don't want to keep you guys healthy. Okay? All right? Yes? Um, can you help because you want to make sure that you're trying to help them? Perfect. Can I Guys, don't forget to turn in your RPI pack on this right here. Are we talking about the solar cells? Yes. Okay, but we didn't use that with the windmill, so you don't need to mention that with the windmill. That was only for the solar cell. That was in 1A. But that's not with that last question. The energy transformation help explain how the windmill turns energy into light. Oh, light and energy. Okay. We, we didn't use the solar cell with the windmill. When we're talking about the windmill harnessing light and the harnessing wind into light, we're not using the solar cell there. I didn't know. What? Um, not Kayla, excellent answer on the last question. Very thorough. Excellent answer. Excellent, excellent. Like, I wish I could show this to Mr. Williams, but you weren't in my class for him to bird yesterday. Holy moly, girl. So I was looking through my teacher manual and we have one or two days of what did he put in together the generator. I'm gonna make one and I'm gonna try to get Colby to make one because Colby's really particular. He's a really good engineer. That's his specialty. My husband is good with electricity, but he's not good at putting together a 100 foot long coil of copper around a toilet paper tube. What it goes around because we all built one last year and my husband's did not work mine did um colby's i think worked somewhat but not real well because you have to spool 100 feet of copper wire around a tube and if it has a single kink in it it doesn't work if any of the wire at any point crosses like an x crosses anywhere across any of the wire it doesn't work it's incredibly kinky the way you have to make it so most of the time it doesn't work and teachers around the district we used to be able to actually go to tvs and talk with other teachers and see what works and doesn't work almost everybody's generators that the students built did not work it was a phenomenal failure which is what much much of science is um but it makes more sense on that one to let the teacher use the time wisely which is teachers build it, they talk about works, what doesn't work, so we can keep going and use our 
time wisely because we have so much stuff that we have to pack in your little brain. We have six units for social study. So we'll have one or two days of building the generator instead of five days of building the generator. Then we have several days of explaining the generator, explaining other concepts, and then we're going to test out of module two. Then we'll go into module three, which is animal senses. And that's why our science background is of an elephant, because our trade book that goes with it is the elephant science. And that's the overarching theme of module three is elephant. It is? Yep. That's why elephant is my background for my science. Uh, what about sharks? Huh? All right, see you tomorrow, Megan. Bye. Bye.